You're considering switching attorneys for your medical malpractice case. If you are, here are three things to consider before you actually switch. You want to know what they are? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. And let me go through with you three things that you need to consider before ever actually switching to another attorney. Number one, your lawyer doesn't return your phone calls. That's a problem. You need to have good communication between your attorney and yourself so that you know exactly what's going on. You should be fully aware and informed every single month about what's going on in your case, even if nothing is really happening and you're at a standstill at the moment. Number two, if the attorney does not return your phone calls and he doesn't return your emails, now that creates a problem. Why? Because you're not getting information in a timely fashion to help you understand what's going on behind the scenes. Now, there may truly be nothing going on. You may be waiting for a court conference date, but still it's critical for you to get that feedback. If not from the attorney, maybe from a paralegal, maybe from a secretary, maybe from a junior associate, but some communication is critical. And number three, and this is really important. If the attorney gives you the sense that he's really not as experienced as he claims to be, that you can only get by talking to the attorney, by hearing the attorney, by asking questions and listening to the responses. Then if you get this sense that, you know what, this attorney may not truly understand exactly what he needs to know in order to move your case forward, and maybe he doesn't have all the experience necessary that you originally thought he did. In that instance, you may consider switching to another attorney. And another thing to consider, you can go to any new attorney that you want at any point during the litigation process. There's a simple matter of transferring your file from one attorney to the next. And the attorneys work out amongst themselves whether they're going to get reimbursed for all the expenses that they paid up until that point or whether the first lawyer is going to wait until the end of your case, if you're successful, to then get repaid. And then the attorneys can work out again behind the scenes what the division of the fee will be. There's only one lawyer's fee. No matter whether you go to one attorney or the second or the third, there's only one lawyer's fee. And it's the same fee no matter how many different attorneys you go to. Not that you would want to, but there's only one lawyer's fee. So these are just a couple of things to consider as you are deciding whether or not it's time to switch attorneys. You know, I understand you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but haven't done so yet because you have questions that need answers, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.